Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and welcome to Calm... Hang on just one second, my phone just rang. Hello? Well, hello Mr. Thornton, how are you today? I'm just about to work on the JCB here. Oh? I absolutely can stop what I'm doing and head over to you. Um, I'll arrive about lunchtime, is that okay? Can I get something to eat at the pub? Okay, great. I'll see you then. Uh, well then, ladies and gentlemen, this is a little bit of a change of plans. So let's, um, we're going to head over to our, just jog over here to our house. We live over here in this little cottage. And we will pick up, oops, run right through that bush and watch my athletic skills here as I hurdle these fences. All right, let's go to Thornton Farm and see Mr. Thornton and see what is going on. All right, well, welcome back, and I hope you had and had I hope you enjoyed your little short nap there. And we are just almost back into the little community here of Thornton, um, and we will stop off at the pub uh, where Mr. Thornton is currently located. And there it is, right over there to the left. We we'll just navigate ourselves around this uh, circle here. head into the pub and hopefully we'll be able to get a bite to eat because I am starving. I've been up quite early this morning, already working on the farm and getting some spring chores done. And then of course get that phone call and when boss calls, well, we have to uh, we have to get get going here. Let's go over here and see what he has to say. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I certainly didn't expect that. Um, Mr. Thornton has requested that I stay here at Thornton Farm and um, get this get this place uh, ship shape and in Bristol fashion, as they would say, um, maybe in England. And um, a lot has been going on since we were last here. And let me just restart with my introduction here. Um, to all of you, welcome to the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and welcome to Thornton Farm. This, of course, is Thornton Farm revamp for Farming Simulator 22. I am Grizzly Bear Sims, otherwise known as Jerry. And I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. And for those of you that have wondered where I've been, what I've been doing, um, why the long gap between videos this one was about 13 month about a 13 month gap i went and looked on the youtube channel the other day and it, it looked like the last video that i created was on calmston farm about episode number 20 i believe or maybe 22 but i think it was 20. and that was released in the February time frame, I would sort of been talking about the cold winter that we have had here in Colorado and um, talked about um, March coming up. And then, of course, I believe like the week after, the week after I released that video was when the war started between Russia and Ukraine. And I might talk a little bit about that. Um, I might talk a little bit about that in this episode or maybe in a future episode. Um, but for right now, let me just say that there was just a whole lot of things that um, came about. A whole lot of things that came about in that late February time frame. You know me, I probably had recorded those episodes a little bit in advance um, so it's possible that you know by the time that that episode released um, it was closer to March than what I was actually you know what I had actually mentioned in the video because I tend to record things 
a few days in advance, uh, sometimes even even as much as a week in advance. And um, uh, bear with me here as we get our, our GPS set up here. And, and my gosh, uh, things are just things have just fallen fallen down here um, at Thornton Farm. You know, you might remember if you remember my series from Farm Sim 17 that uh, that I did on Thornton Farm. I lo absolutely love this map and uh, love the series, love the the gameplay and everything that uh, that uh, that the map um, allowed it. You know, allowed to be played, allowed itself to be played. And uh, and I know many of you played Thornton Farm. Uh, some of you may have even played Thornton Farm in an earlier version. I'm not sure if it came out for um not sure if it came out for 17. Uh, let me just break here and uh do this and stop uh talking all right and we are back with the magic of editing uh we're back here together so um anyway what i was saying was i had un understood that uh thornton farm had come out uh all late last year i believe it was in 22 and um had sort of had my reservations about wanting to check it out because I knew that it was not uh, it was not released by Oxygen David. Uh, it was released by someone else who who I know had permission uh, from Oxygen David to actually release the map. So there's no there's no funny business going on there. But um, anyway, I did decide to check it out, and I'm glad I did because. Um, you know, it's it's pretty darn close to. Uh, the, oh, there's some differences between the 17 version and this one. Like for example, the farmhouse is pretty much uh, unusable. You, you can't go in and do anything inside the farmhouse. The dog is not there anymore uh, from 17. But um, all in all, it's uh, the fields. Everything is here, as you can see. Stonehenge is here. The castle is here over on uh, the other side over there. Um, that's that's cool and um, it's just um, it's just it's, it's been a fun map and it's been something that obviously I have been playing this map for um, about two weeks uh, because I've kind of gotten through um, I've gotten through the first year you start in August and you know now I'm back around in April but anyway um, let me make sure that I don't lose my my train of thoughts here I've got my notes pulled up and um, I've got some things that I, I want to say. And first and foremost, what I want to say is I want to say thank you to uh, each and every one of my very long time, uh, my very long time viewers here of the channel, friends of the channel. Uh, you guys, obviously, if you're seeing this video, if you were notified of this video, uh, the existence of this video, then you have stuck around. Um, for all this time without any videos from me and, and so much has has changed um, not only in in my life uh, and in the things that are related to sort of my gaming hobbies and such but just in the world in general and and um, um, I have been um, I've been playing along um, with my simulation based games you know all this time um, from from that February time frame um, to uh, to now, and it's been, you know, it's been a um, it's it's been a big uh, it's been a big escape uh, for me, and I'll just touch a I'll touch this much about the war. Um, we've got obviously my wife has family in Belgium. We have friends in Belgium. We have friends in uh, in Romania. Uh, we have friends in other other places um, in that area, and obviously, um, you know, in the in the early stages of the war, and even still to this day, because we don't know, you know, we don't know how, how this how this is all going to end up. We don't know if this is the, you know, if this is the dawn of World War Three or just what. And again, I'm going to reserve my opinions about the war who's right who's wrong and all this kind of stuff there's so much um there's so much chatter out on social media um out on all the interwebs and stuff and, and this channel we just stay clear of all of that kind of stuff and um you know but just but be known that 
especially in those early days in that in that February time frame when I had released episode 20 and I, I pretty sure I had not recorded episode 21 yet because otherwise I think I would have released it but the the stress that was on my wife um, the stress that was on our friends that live in Belgium and Romania and places like that um, was just so high and we had had email conversations, telephone conversations, um, Zoom, uh, Skype kind of conversations with our friends there. And what I will say, uh, again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say anything about what's right or what's wrong. Um, but I will just say that, um, like my father-in-law, my father-in-law was, um, just a few years old when World War II broke out. He, he remembers, uh, and, and certainly probably um, seven or eight years old when it ended. So he remembers. Uh, my mother-in-law did as well. Of course, she's passed now. But um, so many people began to, you know, kind of connect the dots. And I know I'm talking about something that's that occurred or started over a year ago. But this sort of led to. Um, this sort of led to the hiatus because um, I always put my priorities in the correct order. I always this tractor and cedar is so huge compared to compared to that truck. I'm really not sure what Mr. Thornton uh, was thinking buying uh, this row crop uh, cedar that's quite so big. Um, but oh well, I guess he knows what he's doing. But um, it just sort of leads up up to that and as i said i've always put the my priorities correctly i've always put you know when i was working i put my job first when i was um when i uh, now i'm retired i've been retired for almost three years um obviously family comes first uh, faith all, all of these all of these kind of things um take a priority and gaming and certainly the youtube channel that kind of goes along with that just kind of has to ride um has to ride and play a second fiddle you know um because that's just that's just the way things have to have to roll and so that sort of started that sort of was the escalation point or maybe the the breaking point with me where i just said to myself I've just got way too much, too many other things are going on that, that really truly matter right now. And so I just got to step away from this. And of course, I had no idea. I thought a week, two weeks, um, I would come back. I had no idea that it, it would be a year. But then we got into the summer and we got into some summer projects. And then, um, and then the fall rolled around and then... Uh, my wife and I have both continued to suffer from physical um, aches and pains related to um, some old injuries that um, that that we had in our in our younger days. We've both gone to physical therapy. Um, as far as that goes, my wife is still um, involved in physical therapy sessions and still struggling with uh, with some aches and pains. I am much better. Um, now I uh, had many, many sessions and I think I was having sessions, uh, when we were last together in February of last year, but those continued through the summer for me and got me back into a, a, a place where I'm still in pain and it still reminds me of my, maybe my misspent youth. Um, but, uh, I'm at least in a, in a, in a place where I can. I can uh, I can find a position generally where I'm not in constant pain, and um, hopefully my wife will uh, get there to that particular place very soon. All right, well we are um, almost done seeding soybeans in this field now. From what Mr. Thornton had told me, um, this is the last field that they have um, that needs to be planted. So um, it sounds to me like that 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 Smithy, uh, you know, Thomas Thomas kind of moved on and 
um, and then eventually kind of left the fold of the Horton family, if you will. Smithy hung around here because, well, this is where his family's from, and um, this is pretty much all he knows. And um, uh, but Smithy, he just let this, he just let all this get on top of him, and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Thornton was explaining to me that. He says, uh, he says, Jerry, he says, we don't, need, we don't have straw. We're out of straw completely. And I'm like, what do you mean? Um, and he's like, yeah, we are, I forgot to shut the tractor off. That's not like me. Um, he says, yeah, we're, we're out of straw. We, we were out of straw a couple of days ago. Um, just completely misjudged, um, the yields and everything from, uh, from the harvest from last year's, uh, wheat harvest. We sold some straw. Uh, I told the boys not to do that, and but it's just, it is what it is. And so um, <laughs> we just are going to have to deal with it as best as we can here. Now, I've got some extra straw. I've got a whole lot of extra straw over on Calmsden. Um, and we're not that far. We're not far from Calm Calmsden at all, just a couple of hours. Um, and let's see if we even need to uh, to spray this here. I may, I may not even need to spray it. Nope, we are perfect. Our values are perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's let's get back into this and close this down, and head over to the to the main farmyard and kind of take a look around while I wrap up uh, some things here that I want to say because I want to keep this this episode relatively short if possible. Uh, you know me, I still like those short twenty to. 25 to 30 minute episodes because I think that is what is the easiest for you all to consume um, because I know you've got other things that you want to do need to do other videos you want to watch other content creators that you follow and certainly I know because I have not put out a video in 13 months um, I'm lower priority for you all but thank you all so much for for at least staying subscribed I think most of you know me well enough that you know that it's not necessarily if I'm going to come back it's it's when because I love doing this uh, I love engaging with my uh, with my friends uh, through the media of uh, through the, the medium of social media and videos and such all right so obviously I've still been playing uh, farm sim uh, 22 uh, I have been playing uh, truck sim uh, both ATS and ETS2, both enjoying those. Um, really enjoyed the Texas map um, and for ATS and, and have, you know, kind of ground, uh, just spent the time to get all of the, uh, visit all the, the locations, not all the cell points, but I mean deliver to each of the cities um, and knock that out and then just loving you know, loving some of those runs up I-35, I-45, all of that. That's kind of my, my stomping grounds. Uh, I've lived all kind of around Texas and, and just, you know, it's just fantastic. And, uh, and of course, still flights him um, quite extensively as well. But, um, you know, I've kind of reached this place in my life where I still have a lot of responsibilities, uh, I'm, 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 for lack of a better term. I am a house husband here for, uh, for my family, for my wife and I, because my wife is still working full time. So I am doing all the chores, the cooking, the cleaning, uh, the errands that need to be run, doing that kind of stuff Monday through Friday so that, you know, she can have a rest, restful, relaxed, relaxing weekend and we can spend that time together. Um, and, um, quite, uh, quite enjoying that. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, I don't want to, um, I don't want to ramble and I think I am rambling and I need to finish my cup of coffee here. It's early on Saturday morning, um, the 18th of March. And I, I will say this, I, I, I decided to make a return to YouTube a couple of weeks ago, probably about a month ago. And, um, for those of you who are longtime friends of mine, you, many of you are, were also friends with Eustace Farmer. And if you don't know, um, the, the real man behind 
uh, the real man behind the mask, if you will, uh, who was Eustace Farmer, passed away um, in um, in late January, I believe. Um, and I was informed of this by his wife. I received a text message uh, on a Friday, I believe, uh, three, three, four weeks ago. And um, I, I posted something on my blog site. If you go to grizzlybearsims.com, uh, um, I posted uh, something there. But I, just prior to that, I thought, I really want to get back into YouTube. I really want to kind of do the YouTube thing. I want to maybe do some multiplayer stuff with some folks. And, um, and then that happened when I got the news about uh, EP. And I've got to be honest, it, it set me back. Um, EP and I had so many things in common. We were relatively close to the same age. We were we were like-minded in most of what we think and believe, um, and such. And um, the the community has lost such a huge, huge um, individual personality, um, and we are. Um, well, it's a loss for us. I mean, we are, we're not, we're, we're not as strong as we were, uh, without him, uh, for, uh, the community, the farm sim community and, and such. And so that sort of set me back a little bit. And I guess I will, I, I should be honest and tell you that things that happen, um, affects me somewhat psychologically, I guess, to the point to where that I just don't want to do things so i i stopped playing farm sim for a little while because there's this is how i met eustace farmer this is this is the thing one of the things that we had in common within our at least within our simulation based gaming and i was thinking the other day that you know oxygen david's new map court court farm is going to come out and we're gonna we're gonna miss because ep like he did with Comsden, EP probably would have done a video showcasing the differences, the real life um, version of of Court Farm versus the uh, the Farm Sim 22 version, just like he did with um, Lone Oak, just like he did with um, Colborough Park Farm in the back in the day, um, and maybe even Thornton Farm. These are all places that are based on real life locations. And I'm just going to really miss that. Uh, I'm going to miss that. And, and somebody else may do it, uh, or there may be other, you know, other versions of it, but it just won't be the same. Um, so anyway, I will probably talk about our dear friend EP in, uh, in another episode because um, he really was. He was such a dear friend to so many people, so many people that I know um, that, that you know, knew him, that we, we were connected together. Um, just truly, truly cherished uh, this this man, this larger than life uh, character, and and um, uh, just so talented, and just such a just such a crazy, crazy, crazy thing to be taken so so early. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I, I truly appreciate it. I hope the audio levels and everything are um, working okay. If not, I promise I will adjust once. Um, once I get to get this video edited and get it uploaded to YouTube and, and see how things sound for future videos, I will make adjustments to make sure that everything is uh, fine and dandy for future stuff. So ultimately, um, thank you for watching. I am very, very happy that you all stuck around. Many of you stuck around. And I will be right back here on the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel um, soon, sometime. Uh, in a few days, maybe in a week. Um, but this is something I truly dearly love. And um, I, I just love interacting with you all. So as Mr. Eustace Farmer would say, take good care of yourself and also take good care of each other. And I'll see you back here on the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel very soon. Bye for now.